Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Things to break. So the Bible saying, if you sin, you break what? The law. The law. The laws of God. Mm -hmm. Like you said, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not get drunk. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not commit adultery. But are we doing these things as a community? Aren't we doing these things? We got other gods. We're serving other gods. We're not keeping God's rules as laws. Because remember, the Sabbath day, that is a law too. We're not keeping that either. Our people right now are out buying. You're not supposed to buy and sell on the Lord's Sabbath day. You're not supposed to cook on the Lord's right. Sabbath day. You're not, supposed to, you're not supposed to work either. Either. No Today is God's holy day for you to worship and serve him. He said keep it we can do to stop this, all right? Because the Bible says we're going to be cursed in the city and cursed in the field. Mm -hmm. Cursed in the city when you got these young dudes that got guns with 100 round drums that can shoot 100 times, and then they put a little device on it that they get from their enemies to turn it into <laughs> an automatic machine, a fully automatic machine gun, where it's mm -hmm. We got 12, 13 year old kids right now from our community doing that. That's cursed in the city. So if we want to stop that, this is what God says we must do. Read that. The book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Mm -hmm. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So God says we have to repent. What does repent mean? Uh, forgive your ways. Change your ways. And obey God and do as God tells us to do. Okay. Perfect. What do you say, Ruby? Turn from whatever it is you're doing. So return from, from it. Turn from stop it. Whatever stop. It is. stop. What is the it? Whatever it is. Sin. <laughs> whatever it is. Sin. Repent means to change. Say that again. Sin. 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 Well, whatever sin change it is. Change from your way. <laughs> okay, what is sin? Anything that ain't right. Unrighteousness. Unrighteousness? Yeah. Okay. That's going to lead to another question. <laughs> what is unrighteousness? Killing. Killing, murder, right? Going out there drinking, drunk. Okay, so what are those called? What is those? What are, that, is, that is called God's laws. So you got to obey God's laws, and when you don't obey God's laws, that is called sin. That's what the Bible says. Read that real quick. Yes, sir. The book of First John, chapter three and verse four. So now we're about to define what sin is, so that we can repent or. Return or turn from doing this. Mm -hmm. Read. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. So the word transgress means to break. So the Bible is saying if you sin, you break what? The law. The law. The laws of God. Mm -hmm. Like you said, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not get drunk. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Not but are we doing these things as a community? Aren't we doing these things? We got other gods. We're serving other gods. We're not keeping God's rules as laws. Because remember, the Sabbath day, that is a law too. We're not keeping that either. Our people right now are out buying. You're not supposed to buy and sell on the Lord's Sabbath day. You're not supposed to cook on the Lord's Sabbath day. You're not, supposed to, you're not supposed to work either. either. No Today is God's holy day for you to worship and serve him. He said keep it holy on it because this is the seventh day. You don't need seventh nothing day. today. So this is the seventh day. Right. This is the seventh day. So when you break the Sabbath, what is that called? It's called sin. It's called sin. So when you are killing someone, what is that called? Murder. That is called sin. sin. So how many of y'all are going to celebrate Thanksgiving? What do you mean celebrate? Celebrate. Like have family come, or you go to family house and you cook turkey, eat turkey. 
Who go who gonna celebrate Thanksgiving? I am. Anybody? I am. You are? Yeah. Who else? And say, hey, happy Thanksgiving's Day. Who's going to celebrate? We got two people, three people. That is sin. <laughs> Celebrating Thanksgiving Day is sin. Okay. You know why? It's a white, white man's holiday. It's a day that you got killed. They killed your, your, your foremothers and forefathers. And now they're celebrating and saying thanks for giving us this land. And we celebrate. So you're serving another God, and you're serving the, and you're celebrating a day that God didn't tell you to celebrate. So these are some of the sins that we have to repent from. We have to stop doing. Go back to Acts 3. The book of Acts, chapter 3, and verse 19. Repent ye therefore. So we have to repent. You, therefore, and what? And be converted. And we have to be converted. Now, what does the word convert mean? Change. Right. Change, right? Just like a convertible car. You got a you got a top, it comes off, now you got a drop top. So what changes you? What converts you? Anybody? The word of God. The word of God. The word of God. Thou shalt not what? Kill, steal, rob, and all of that. Adultery. Don't serve no other gods before me. That too. So is Thanksgiving serving another god? Yes. It is. So you can't celebrate it no more. You can't celebrate it no more. Look up on the history of that. You just got to think about it. A lot of us were already here prior to the slave ships. So that means... You are celebrating the death of your own forefathers and foremothers. Uh, we back at Acts. The book of Acts, chapter 3. And no, three. give me what converts you. Psalm 19. Yep. What is it, Acts what? The uh, book. Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The book of Psalms, 19. chapter 19, and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. So the law of the Lord is perfect. Actually, when you start to apply the law, that makes you perfect, too. When you apply God's laws, when you actually practice doing it, that makes you perfect. Read. The law of the Lord is perfect, uh -huh. converting the soul. And it converts your mind. It converts you. Uh -huh. Making what? The testimony of the Lord is sure, uh -huh. making wise the simple. It makes you wise. From being simple. Because when we're not keeping God's laws, we're simple. We're simple. God wants us to be wise. So he wants you to keep his laws. He wants you to convert from the ways that you were taught in your assimilation from slavery. Because prior to slavery, a lot of us weren't living like that. We wasn't eating pigs. Because Thanksgiving Day, a lot of us is going to eat and ham, but God says don't eat that. Mm. Who eat catfish? You eat catfish? God says don't eat that either. It, the, the, the fish has to have fins and scales in order for you to eat it. If it doesn't have that, you can't eat it. Give me, give me, let me share another law. Give me Deuteronomy 22. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse, verse five. 5. Now, hold on to your seats. Uh, <laughs> Don't on. jump out. Come on. Okay? Uh -huh. I want you to let this scripture meditate. Because remember, we went into slavery because we what? Why did we go into slavery? Because we broke God's what? Law. We broke his law. law. When we break God's laws, what is that called? It's called sin. You get cursed. You get cursed, right? Now here's the law. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Mm -hmm. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Mm -hmm. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Mm -hmm. For all that do so are abomination 
unto the Lord thy God. All right, so I'm going to read it again, and then I'm going to interact. I'm going to ask you a question. Read it one more time. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. All right, so it says the woman. The woman. So this law is for a woman. And it's also for what? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So it's talking about a man and a woman. It's talking about clothing. Right? Read it from the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The word pertains means to belong. So a woman shouldn't wear anything that belongs to a man. So, how do you know if a woman is wearing men's clothing? Ruby? Hey, hey, she just hey. said it. She knows. <laughs> Which? I hey. Okay. You're right. We would wear pants way longer than women would wear. That's something new. Our foremothers did not wear pants prior to the 1950s, I believe. Prior to the 1950s, women wouldn't wear pants. That's something new. But why does God say women don't wear pants? Neither should a man wear a dress. Why is God saying that? That's right. Why? Why do you think he's saying that? Because you, uh, you sin when, you wear the, when, when a man wears a dress. When a man put on the woman's dress and, 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 have, and wear her hair, hair pieces and lipstick and stuff. But I know, that's how I got tricked. Because I know when I went out somewhere and I thought it was a lady. I thought it was a, I thought it was a lady. But it was a man. But it was a man dressed in sheep clothes. But, so, it another spirit yeah, came on him. Started, you couldn't tell the difference. I couldn't tell the difference. So what do you think that does to society? It messes up everybody. It's an abomination. It's an abomination. It's an abomination. So the Bible says men shouldn't wear dresses. Women shouldn't wear pants. So what happens when a woman puts on these clothing Items that belongs to a man. What happens to her spirit? What happens to her mind? What do you think? What do you think? Bingo. I wear the pants in this house. You can't tell me nothing about Some of them. But the Bible is a spiritual book. It's a spiritual book. It tells you what you should and what you should not do. I like that acronym. I like that acronym too. So as a woman, when you wear clothing that doesn't belong to you, you start to take on those attributes. Just like when I was a kid, I wanted to be like Superman. So what did I do? I put a cape on. You know what I'm saying? I flew around the house. I actually thought I was Superman. Whenever I watched a karate movie, man, I thought I was a karate he character. Over the yeah. Hit the wall. I made nunchucks. <laughs> right. I did all of those things. I dressed like it and I wanted to be just like yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah. the same thing when women put on men's clothing and when men put on women's clothing. Because just like you said, you couldn't tell the difference. The man put on lipstick, he started to walk, I talk. Tell the I couldn't tell the difference. Yeah. I thought it was, I, I'm not saying it was So God says that's an abomination. The word abomination means disgusting. God hates it. It's detestable to him. You're, you're no good for him. So now, think about the psychology behind that. Look at the world. Yes, ma'am. But I thought God was after the heart, not what you wear or do. What did the Bible just say? The Bible just said, this is, look, read that again. I want you to listen. I want you, ma'am, what's your name again? Ali. Ali, I want you to listen to what God is saying. Because this is what, this is God's mind right here. Mm -hmm. And he wants your mind to be like his mind. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Mm -hmm. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So, Ali, God wants, he wants you to come home. You know what I'm saying? Just think about it. 
-hmm. You got children? Yes, I got three. You got three, three children. Adults. So look, when your children were small, yes. right? Yes. You dressed them appropriately because mm -hmm. it was a representation of you, correct? <clears throat> right? Yes. So what if your children say, you know what? I don't want to wear this, mommy. I just want to just be naked. Wouldn't you be like, mm -mm, no. No. Yeah. You're going to you're going to enforce that rule on them, or they're going to suffer the consequences. Right. It's the same thing with us. When God says, look, you're a representation of me. You have to dress like a princess. You have to dress like the daughter that I want you to be. You see what I'm saying? So that is the reason why we have to repent and come back. Because if we don't, we're going to be sub subjected to these curses forevermore. We're going to continue to be proverbs. We're going to continue to be bywords. We're going to continue to have, because now the yokes of iron are not on our necks no more. They're here now. They're here. So we have to break the chains that's on your heart. Because God cares what's in your mind. Because he said, cleanse your ways. So, any more questions? Question. All right, so hey, we're Israel United in Christ. Um, we have classes seven days a week, three times a day. On the flyer, um, our contact information is on the back. Please give us a call. We would love to talk with you. We can invite you to come hang out with us on a Saturday. You come to wear your beautiful dresses. <laughs> We would love to have if I won't our pass, numbers you on this. Let me in, would you? Say that again, ma'am. If I won't pass there, would you let me in? Yeah, we'll let you in and well, give you a dress to cover up. <laughs> That's right. We'll let you okay. we'll we'll let you borrow our dress for okay. your duration while you're there. And then when it's time for you to go, you can take it off, hand it back to us, and you can go on your way. All right. Most definitely. We're not gonna turn you away. Because right. we want you to come in and get fed spiritually. Because the Bible says a man should not live by bread alone. But by every yeah, word that proceeded out of his mouth. mouth All right? So it was a pleasure speaking with y'all. Yeah. I hope y'all learned a lot. I enjoyed communicating with y'all with this information. And I enjoyed the feedback because I learned something from each one of y'all today. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Hosea. Hosea. Okay. I like the Bible. Yes, ma'am. What about if the okay. king starts saying, they make it a nine-to-feminine. You don't have to. They don't have to look like men pants. They fit in the pants. Okay, we're here. What's your name again, son? Helen. Helen. So Helen. So if you um, if you think about it, there's no such thing as when, uh, women's pants because there's no such thing as a man's dress. It's, 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 you you wear as pants and dress. Pants is for men. Dresses is for women. Think about it. When a roy a woman of royalty, when you look at Queen Elizabeth never seen her in pants. She always dressed in royal, right. royalty. You're a princess. God wants you to walk in your true identity boldness. with boldness and proudness. When, when a woman says, you know what, I want to wear pants, you know what you're saying? <laughs> when, we, when we read in verse 47, you're not serving the Lord with gladness and joyfulness of heart and abundance of all things. So, that's why sicknesses and diseases come on us. That's why poverty and oppression come on us because we say, we tell God, the one who made us, God, you know what? I know better than you, God. And God says, really? All right, I'm going to smite you. I'm going to smite, I'm, I'm smite you with sickness. I'm going to smite you with, with, with madness. So we got we to gotta really get to the point where, hey, I'm going to do what God says, not what I say. Because when we lean on our own understanding, yeah. you, see the, the you see the Trust results the of it, don't you? Okay. Nation is men leading by example.
Station.